Developing a better understanding of trace fossils, we will be continuing with our topic of trace fossils. So, the study of trace fossils is often called ichnology. From the Greek ichnos, that means a trace. So, one organism was at present at some certain point in time at one place, and it gave out some traces of its existence, and that is. Uh, saved through the time and that is called trace fossil as we have discussed earlier. So there were numerous scientists but one uh, German paleontologist Adolf Seilacher established a classification of trace fossils based on behavior. So he was the first scientist who established these, uh, this branch of uh, paleontology as exact science. So there are uh, different types of the uh, uh, trace fossils as we have discussed earlier. The traces on the bedding planes. So if an organism walks on certain type of soil, which is wet and maybe it can show some impressions on its surface, the soil. So that can be bedding planes, that means wherever the organism is walking, living or residing. So here, there are the tracks, the set of discrete footprints usually formed by the arthropods are vertebrates. So if we see, uh, if you take some uh, mud and there are some uh, ants walking on it, so th they will be leaving some tracks because there are distinct footprints on there or you can see the tracks of uh, uh, some birds as well, arthropods or vertebrates, but trails, Trails are continuous traces usually formed by the whole body, either traveling or resting. For example, if we are talking about the gastropods, the snails, if snails walk through it, it is showing some wiggling pattern of uh, track, right? So it will show some track on which it has walked. So th these are both tra traces on the bedding planes. And we can see such uh, trace fossils in our fossil record. And then there are the structures in the sediments. Uh, for example, the burrows. Burrows are structures formed within the soft sediment, either for locomotion, dwelling, protection, feeding by moving the grain out of the way. So uh, they are taking grains and making some structures which are called burrows. And boring, the structure formed in hard substrate. So burrows are in the softer substrate, just taking out some grains and making the burrows. But uh, boring means that these are the structure which are made in the hard, for example, the calcareous shells, the shells made up of calcium. If they are bored in, uh, or maybe wood, such as limestone shell, wood for the purpose of protection includes bioerosion, feeding traces such as drill holes in shells produced by the gastropod. So these are different type of boring behavior and we can see such uh, for trace fossils as well. And then there comes the excrement. Excrement is something that comes out of the body of an organism. And when it comes out, uh, it becomes part of the environment. Sometimes it is decomposed and sometimes it is not. If that thing is not decomposed properly and turned into the fossil, that is called uh, a trace fossil because it tells us that this particular organism was living here, whose uh, feces are these. So fecal pellets and fecal strings, small pellets, usually less than 10 millimeter in length. So if they are less than 10 millimeter in length or string of or experiment, uh, excrement, then these are fecal pellets or fecal strings. And if they are more than 10 millimeter, discrete fecal uh, masses, usually more than 10 millimeter in length and usually the product of vertebrates, these are called coprolites. So there is a difference between the fecal pellet and fecal strings and coprolites. And then there are the other, for example, root penetration structures, impression of activity of growing roots. Wherever the root grows, it will show some impressions on there. And that we can see for the certain ancient plants. And then there are the some non-fecal pellets. For example, some organism regurgitate. That means they uh, take the food in, digest it, and uh, take the food out through the uh, mouths. Regurgitation pellets of birds, reptile, excavation pellets of crustaceans, uh, and the like, right? So this type of pellets are non-fecal pellets. 
in these art race fossils as well. And then there are the naming, uh, the, they are given formal name often based on Latin and Greek, just like living and foss uh, fossil plants and animal. Uh, the trace fossil genera are ichnogenera, we call them, and the trace fossil species are called ichnospecies. And here you can see the experimental ichnology, that means this is the ichnology that we practice as an experiment. Here on, on the left side, you can see the graduate student Jasper Milan uh, trying to persuade an emu, emu to walk where he wants it to walk. And on the right side, you can see the tracks and under tracks of the emu. So this student is doing what? He is uh, making some tracks of a living emu to study that how the impression of its feet will turn out. And basis of its result, he will study the trace fossils on the same uh, of the same type of organisms uh, which are found in different parts of the world. 